In the name of the Father, unto the Son, unto I. I am He, whom you called the Holy Spirit, whom you called and expect, C-H-R-I-S-T, the Temple of the Queen. The 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 spirit or the holy spirit in the temple of the king whom whom you have called christ or church it was a temple temple so you have been expecting the christ the bride yes The Christ, or T-S-I-R-C-H-I, had come. He is not what you have expect. Because this is what I see in all of you. I just have this, uh, it makes me feel like a stone every day, every day, every day. When people keep expecting the Christ, that they are expecting what uh, they see in their minds. is not what I see in their hearts. So you are uh, making me like uh, a stone full uh, you are making me like uh, a sand a sand in the plastic being thrown into the water This is what you make me feel You've been all in the clouds thinking oh he's coming he's coming You are thinking That uh, he will just show up right on the clouds, right on you, in front of your faces. When the worlds within you are darkness. What is the word I'm talking about within you are darkness? Thy hearts, what's in thy chest. You are not up yet. For me, you are still right by your tummies. Yes, you are there by your tummies. That's where you are. And you are expecting to be left That is where you are in my tummies right now. You are very full. You have done you have not done any work. There's many that done works but uh, they do not believe Jesus. They do not believe who's the savior. They do not believe the son of man. So be honest of yourselves. Who you are expecting? The man that uh, who went, uh, he was not. He's not gonna. He's not gonna come for if the world is like this. True will never ever come if the world is like this. He will come like a tip in the night to get me. I know who he is, and he is not what you are expecting. <laughs> do, do you forget what uh, what my father said? His spirit cannot be contended with humans forever as they are humans and mortals, they are mortals and uh, like that. In speaking in tongues, that's a uh, mint. He says, uh, spirit cannot be contended with humans forever as you are mortals and then uh, like that, you are... Uh, Oh, Lara. The word is uh, worse now than it was long time ago in Bethlehem. Because now uh, the Gomorrah, the Egypt, the 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 Sodoma are all here. It's all been in one. And you are expecting your ass, oh, de lahara. When he said, my human, my, his spirit cannot be content with humans forever as they are mortals and they, they are humans. Darkness. You've been uh, expecting too high that the home you called your savior will just show up right on your faces like a twinkling of an eye. He won't. When you have done no work for my father. 
I see in you who you are. You have not done any work just to being a good Samaritan. You have not... Wala ko sa ngunar haurura la. Yung kunar hirara. You have done... You are still in a... In a... Like when I look at somebody, I know when they've done something, some work. Because they go up right to my... To my... To my chest where my halo is. This is where they go up there. When I talk to you, that's when I said, let my father receive. That's what I say when I feel you are already up there. It's because you have listened to my voice. That's why I say, let my father receive. Because it is my father that leads you. He is leading you. He is the one leading you to true. True. He is leading you to true. I am truth. The home you called Holy Spirit. I am true. T-R-U-H. That's what it was. True. But they call it T-R-U-T-H. True means light. But you call me truth. Now I become good and evil. But the assassin means evil. Because my yet embodied love. My yet embodied love. I talk the way I talk because this is me. Just like I said, you are what you are. If uh, you are, uh, you talk like a, uh, like a, uh, like a kid in the, in the circle. You talk like one. But no, I do not. How I become like this? Through all my life, I did not insult no one. I did not call no one names. I, I mind my own business, let's say. This lifetime I've been in, this is last for me. The last mission I'm doing is to be swept by the flood. Make it 75. That is in point 75 because 72, this is the 73, 75 for the, those I wanted to be under my mantle when true come. That's for me to be swept by the flood at the wilderness. That is my mission why I'm here while I am preaching under the sun. Under the sun. Under the sun, because even if it rains, I am un under the sun. Why under the sun? Because the Father and true is leading me under the roof, even if it rains. This is why you are, uh, you've been taught very, very, oh, You've been expecting too much, just like those Pharisees. The Pharisees in a long time ago in Bethlehem, they ask for a Messiah, and when the Messiah comes, they just kills him. This is where you get the wrong idea, right from the very beginning, because your theologian messed up with my books. The Truth Word, sent and fulfilled by whom you call the Holy Spirit. From the true. Who is true? The word of my father. Who is the word of my father? He is the God. He is true. That's why he, he is specifically we have our own uh, meanings. That is true. The word of the father. That everyone listens. He don't like it when he start uh, he when he opens his uh, mouth. Everyone are ang you don't know. We 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 are all like uh uh, uh wet chickens. You know. Once he lead, 
We are uh, we are all like a chickens under the rain. And you think that <laughs> you've been expecting really, really so much that are out of the minds. You are calling the Holy Spirit, the Jesus you know, you think you know, but you do not. You don't know what you get every time you call me. You just getting uh, more promises to me. More a fortune to sell to my father, to my ayah. That is what you become uh, when you when you turn to a soul, you become a slave. Just like oh, those in Egypt long time ago in Bethlehem. Why? Because uh, you keep making promises, promises. That's why you don't get your own knowledge because you keep selling them every time you are calling the Holy Spirit. You call the Holy Spirit or you call Jesus whom you think you know, but you do not. Because you don't know who is God. You think uh, God is uh, this, this is God. But you don't know which one. Because you, can, you yourself can be one if you are a good Samaritan. You think the Holy Spirit will come and just pick you up like flowers in its garden. Do you think? When I see in your heart is full of burden, burden, too high, proud, dark, sensitive, calling one another names, insulting somebody, I hate it. Sensitivity that doesn't work in my world. We are like foxy chickens. Why? Because this is how we were molded by our own father. With my tribes. The Jesus you've been expecting have come long ago. Have come long ago, been in this lifetime 36 years ago to fulfill the last mission. Actually, I died already. I died already, but I know now why. When my head was banged on the wall, it was a... Uh, it was the warning from my father for the sixth angel whom he do not know because he have this tattoo on his uh, thing. Because uh, his reason, he does not want to go home yet. That, those times when we were almost going home, long time ago in Bethlehem, all of us in spirit. But uh, they just want to stay because they want to help the other, they don't want to lead the other. So until now, to the very end, we're all together. In different races. But I know my people. I know my siblings. I know my tribes. The, the C-H-R-I-S-T, you have been expecting, or whom you call the Christ. The temple is not in its temple. Because the temple that it's contents to has been rewarded to the one. So you've been expecting the, the, the least from your expectation. She is her. She and her angels has been on the land for ages to test the good in Samaritans. With the lead of the father. Even me, I get to test. Because even to the very last, even to the very last end, you will get test. Like uh, um, uh, when I was tested by a true, he sent an angel to test me. When I was, uh, when I was uh, riding a jeepney going home, 
on that uh, on that uh, jeepneys was uh, an, uh, they called the uh, greasy man they called the uh, greasy man he's got no he's uh, looks like he that he did not uh, have a shower like uh, what you see in the in the poverty like that didn't have looks like didn't have a shower and then he's a uh, He's uh he he they haven't changed the clothes for like how long ago like six years already let's say like that, but he talked to me through his heart. I want your bread. The bread that I I bought for my grandma for my mom. But I give it to him because I see he needs it more than my mom. I open it for him and look for a water for uh, right inside of the of the vehicle in the jeepney. I look for a water. I don't feel ashamed because it was uh, being a good Samaritan. I am telling you this as an example that you should have been doing all of you. And then he did not eat it. He only pinched a little, and then he he. When I'm all he knows, I'm almost uh, I'm almost uh, uh, stopping. He stopped in to my destination. He left. Only now I remember that it was my sixth angel. It was the time also that that uh, it was uh, my time to be. To start my work for my father. But uh, I just take the lead. I don't moan. I don't whine. I don't, uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. Uh, you just let things be where it takes you. Where your life will lead you. Because it is the father is leading you. Even before I'm doing this, I was a test again. See? That is what the Father does. Test you and test you and test you. Different uh, looking uh, man again. See, that is what you do not understand, humans. Father is a metaphysic. True can send angels to any other to test the good in Samaritans. Samaritans is you, within you, of who you really are. The Christ you've been expecting is less, less from your expectations. Because she is not on who you think he is. She got in the body, yeah. She got in the body. It was, you said, uh, you called the Holy Spirit. You did not think the Holy Spirit can be whoever he wants to be. Can be in the... But it, can con, it cannot contend in the flesh of the humans because you are humans and full of darkness. It contends in the body of Christ as it was a sign and design, a sign by my Father for me. For me. To get in the body of Christ, for it to be holy and be rewarded to my true. This is how, why you should not you should not insult no one. Do not uh, call one any names. Do, you don't know what you are talking about. You don't know what the word is because in other. In other words, in other dimensions, you have different, you have different uh, tetras, what you call letters, different understandings. But uh, the least understandings you have in here is here. That's why you are uh, you are laughing to to angels unawares, and then in the end, then end of the day, you are the one being laughed by them because you they will say you are a clay. They call you a clay. That's what they are, clay. You are clay. Why a clay with nothing in it? 
That's what the angels call you. Yet you think you know better. Why? They're angry at humans because they keep calling angels, but they do not put water in the table. When you call your angels or a Holy Spirit or whatever, put at least a bread. A bread. A bread when you call a Holy Spirit. Because it is my mayats. My mayat. When you call the angels, call, uh, put water in the tables. Because that is an altar to us. The table is the altars. Because the altars now in those uh, Babylonians do, these people, uh, these humans did, this, uh, they just put uh, their own uh, things in there. You think God, God does not know anything what you are doing. It's really, really, he is really, really full to the brim of, uh, actually, it's not just brim now. It's already like in the drum. It's already so much. It's already going up on the right, on the sides. If you are boiling water, it's already like that. You left, oh, you just have no idea how angry my God is, do you? And you think I'll come, you think I'll come and save you from the anger of my father? <laughs> really? From true? <laughs> really? You really have no idea, humans. I've been here since my father told me long time ago in Bethlehem. But they talk my knowledge about everything because it wasn't time. I was being molded in this lifetime again for the last time to do the will of my father True, true. True, true, true. He is the bridge, let's say. But he said to me, be gentle like a dove and be wise like a serpent. So <laughs> Why did my father took um, took my memories from uh, the past and past and past and past and past on past on past on lifestyle I have? Because I was being molded again to this gen Genesis to open up all of it in one condition, in one condition. That's what it is. To work hard and be a good Samaritan, to work hard as I am, whoever I am, just like how I was. With, because you are what you are deep within. You work hard to get back all the things you used to, who you was and who you were. That is why you, you are the... We, <laughs> You, you think uh, you are here for no reason. You are here just to preach and do something like that. Eat, work, no. You work and be a good Samaritan spiritually, physically, rationally, let's say. You think uh, when angels are sent here, angels or the tribes we agreed not to remember our past because it is not fair for the other to remember from this world why no even i it's not fair enough for the others if i i'm the only one who, who have it who have the memory and then my, my angels does not know i do not allow that When we are sent, when you are all sent here at first cry, you agreed to not, you agreed that you will do your journey 
as you um you are you will do the journey of your life of how it was the uh, what it is as the father is dictating you it's like in the cinema you are scripted by whom the father but the only thing that is not written in you is what you really are because you work hard to get and remember of who you really are you forget to think that god is wise so you just think uh you just imagine that uh you will all be going up there when you have not feed the dogs that is the dogs i means about i mean dogs are gods why they are embodied love surfacing the lows of heaven love they don't speak they don't get seen they just give love and love and love and love and love and love and the love and they go higher and higher and higher every time Because all they do is give love. And the woman you are worshipping in the spirit world, she kicked my dogs. That is why my father make her what she is. I-L-I-V-E-D. So you will worship her and be called the E-V-I-L. That is what you did not get. You don't know what's happening in the spirit world, but you, because all your things is, is your human flesh. When it fades away. Except. You think uh, the, the Christ, you know, is like this, like that. You are all expecting just lot, like what I see. It's all mixed now because I see, I see every one of you, of you're expecting of me. When you haven't fed your own dogs. When you haven't fed the dogs. What dogs? The dogs that within in thyselves that you must open of your own selves. So nobody will open it but you alone. Unless you work hard to be a good Samaritan. You work hard to please the Father and the Ayah. Aya, true. You work hard to glorify them. To glorify the God. But you did mixing the, the what I taught you, our father. You mixed it with the, you think he likes it? I don't think so, you mans. I really don't think so. That is why he's full to the broom already. Really, really is. Meaning to say you have been tasted through all your lifetime. Who embodied love within thyselves without hurting. That's the meaning of the dogs. If you have been fed the, if you have fed the dogs, you have been tested all through your lifetime. If you are, if you embodied love within thyselves, love like not, uh, you're not hurting anybody else by insulting somebody because it's blasphemy, blasphemy to the spirit that within thee. That is how we blaspheme. Blaspheme to the spirit you don't know that are within. You don't know that is above them. You don't know that is behind them. You don't know that is uh, on on the right of your sides in the in your uh, in the top of your shoulders. That is the spirit that you are. Blaspheming every time you insult somebody you don't know. And make make laugh of them? Hmm. And then you ask God? Chalahara.
that is why you you insult other people you insult the uh, spirits it's the spirits that you are insult insulting because your body is just a dead cells it's a dead cells of your spirit to keep you in net so you won't be taken by wind to wherever it wind blows to wherever it blows you away just like just like uh, a spirit is like a a feather a letter L little very small it's a uh, it's a uh, wherever the wind takes it it will just follow wherever it uh, goes it just goes wherever the wind blows that's why you have this flesh because it's your cell a cell of your spirit you're like a battle a genie in the battle that's what you are You think God will come save you because you've been around teaching His words. All that you have drove out, you call demons. You are the demon yourself. You know? You are the demons yourself. Why? Why you are the demons yourselves? Because it is you in yourselves. It is, do you know where it is? In right and your, uh, where is it? In the... Uh, it is in your um, in your oh the sakuraina lara in your uh, where you have uh, um, when you feel sick it's like a ball within you and uh, a wind see a wind in your in your abdomen in the middle of your ribs this is where this is where your demons are that is where your demons you think your demons are up of your head no they are angels up there because it's their uh, things there your demons is right by your in the middle of your chest and then there's a uh, sigmora what you call it sigmora stomach pain where you get a stomach pain it's like a wind there you cannot you feel like you want to go toilet but you don't feel you can't uh, it's a uh, what they call it here sigmora stomach sihara sigmora 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 Sigmora, 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 Sigmora. It's um, ah, stagalahina gara, what's any hard? What's an aura? It's in our sino Philippine. No, what's any dola, yeah. right there upper stomach in your upper stomach that is where that is where your demons are in your upper stomach it's like a circle round there pituka So like an uh, abdominal pain that's it abdominal pain that is where your demons are you that is what you are there within yourselves and then uh, some people think they know better when you have no idea why and uh, what are you doing why, uh, what's the reason why are you here in this world in your worlds because this is not my word anymore. This is not my world anymore. That's why I keep saying, do not call one's names because my father is always around with his angels. You are insulting 
one another, fighting one another, think you know better because of your dead books when you yourself is the book. If you get to open them. You've been expecting the Messiah, but because she is less than you have expected, you just want you just ignore her, you just laugh her at her, you just uh, insult her, you just make her crawl and all that. You are no difference from the Pharisees who believe God, but because they expect more, they crucified the they just crucified the Messiah whom they were expecting because he, he, he did not pass their expectations. I did not pass to their expectations. That's why they just crucified. Because they were expecting a, a good-looking king with a regality and reality looks. And they hate it when I was preaching, just like now. People hate me when they, I'm, I'm, I'm telling them the truth. Story of Akashi, story of the world, Jesus called me names. When they have no idea how I made them. How me and my, sibling, my tribes made them. True, I, and then give life by Aya. True. T-R-U-E. You're just a little, you are, uh, you are, you are no difference that Paris is long ago in Bethlehem. You've been expecting so much of me. When you do not even know the home you call Jesus, the home you call Savior, the home you call the Holy Spirit, you do not know. And even now, still the same, you've been expecting so much without, without even cleansing thy hearts first. This is why I feel like heavy. I feel heavy. Because people keep calling my name, keep calling my name, but their hearts is like a stone of a... Uh, of a... Uh, stone of a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, full of souls. Stone full of souls. That is what you are. And you're in the... Uh, you keep calling me, keep calling me, keep calling me, but you don't know me. And then your hearts are not, uh, your hearts, oh dear, dear, dear. Your hearts, cleanse your hearts. Every time, uh, every time you call me, you will say my name. But, oh, Dilahara. You are a soul. Stone. Full of souls. Why I say stone full of souls? Why I called you a stone full of souls? Because that is what you are. A stone full of souls. Because you did you are not you are not uh, you are not born from this world. You've been true a lifetime. You are in your spirit, in your soul, you are full of soul. Soul from where you've been, what dimension you was before, what world you were been, what name you were before, who you were before, what is your name under your past lives, who you are, who you were with. That is what you are. A stone full of souls. See how you gonna hear a house and it's a hollow, you're gonna hear a house and it's a hollow, 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 and it's a